I'm Dr. Jamie. This is Kat. Hi. And this is Madame Mim. We're going to show you today how we do a blood draw in a dog. It's a little disconcerting for some clients because dogs are different than people. Their anatomy of their neck is different. In a person, if you were to jab them in the neck, you're going to hit the carotid artery. That would be a big deal. Probably would hurt and a lot of bruising. So we don't want to do that. But in animals, their carotid artery is actually very far back behind a muscle. And what runs right here is the jugular vein, which is in a small dog like Mim, just about the same size as getting blood from your arm. It is very easy for them. And because they don't have the same mental aspect of it as people do, we don't think about getting stabbed in the neck, they actually do really well with this kind of thing. So we're going to see how Madame Mim does today. And we're going to show you the process. So if you want to come on in. Hi, ma'am. What are we gonna do today? So the first thing we do, Kat's just gonna hold her head up slightly. We're gonna put a little bit of alcohol in the area, just to be clean. Make sure we're not introducing any bacteria when we do the injection. All right, and we'll see how this goes. Hi, mama. You're doing so good. You're doing so good, beautiful. We just hold off the vein and Mim coughs a little bit. Not all dogs do that, but just because I'm near her throat. Now we're gonna see how she does. Here we go, mama. Here we go. We introduce the needle and then we just have to find the vein. And you can see a nice little red flesh right there and we have a nice blood sample. Good girl. You did so good, mama. You did so good. So that is how you do a jugular blood draw in a dog.